It has been a remarkable 12 months for the people of Rocked Climbing Gym in Brighouse. Last Boxing Day, the entire bottom floor was flooded, but after a lot of hard work, there are big plans in place for improvements to be made. Speaking first of all to the owner and founder of Rocked Climbing Gym, Ewan Noble, he spoke about how the last year has been. Anything that you build that you, you've no idea whether it's going to be uh, good or whether people will actually join um, and five years later on with 35,000 members um, arguably one of the most more interesting probably one of the biggest climbing worlds in the country um, but we're not just a climbing world we're a you know, proper family centre you know we've got kids things going on we've got 220 kids a week on, on kids clubs and and it just you know it's just endless the sort of stuff we've uh, found ourselves doing and evolving into. I think we inherited a derelict mill that had more potential than we had ideas for uh, so five years ago, yeah, it was you know fairly you know mono idealistic approach. You'll build a climbing wall, but then you know we've now got a spin studio. We're going to have escape rooms. We're going to have um, probably one of the best Olympic training zones for climbers. Um, we're, we, you know, we just the, the ideas are sort of flowing uh, thick and fast right now. So and we've got the space and the skills to do it. So we're, we're on with it. The first person to notice the problem that had been caused on Boxing Day by the high levels of flood water was the general manager Ben Stoker, and he spoke about just what he found when he went into the building. So I, I was actually the first one down here Boxing Day. I'd, I'd actually called down, um, not because of the flooding, we didn't even know about the flooding at that point, I'd, I'd called down for another reason um, and couldn't actually get in through the gate um, because the, the already the, the um, car park was completely flooded. Um, and by about half past ten we'd, we'd actually got into the centre the water was starting to rise. We tried moving a lot of the electrical equipment and things up, um, but by 11 o'clock, all the matting was starting to, to get flooded. Once that once that starts to get wet, you know that's uh, it's sort of game over really. Um, and by about half past two, we we just realised there was there was nothing more that we could do, and um, we'd moved what we could, and um, so we just sort of left the building um, because well, it was it was starting to get dangerous to be honest by that point. Um, and by about half past four we were sat across the road in the pub actually at the, the Miller's Bar <laughs> across the road just watching as the water just got higher and higher um, and yeah it was it was it was uh, quite quite upsetting not the best Christmas really. With work well underway to make sure that 2017 sees plenty of development in the area the business development manager Kirsty Atkinson says that next year something she's really looking forward to for the facility. It was obviously a massive hit for our business, um, big negative, but a positive's come out from there because um, we've got all these redevelopments. We've had to obviously clean the place up and paint everything, and it's just given us a massively fresh new look. It was absolutely devastating. There's no, there's no working around that, but what, where we've come since then, um, some of the ideas that we've got that we're going to be building on in the future might not have come without the flood. So um, fingers crossed for 2017 and it all looks really good. So with the plans in place already being worked upon at Rocked, the hope is that in 2017 they can climb to the next level. This was Tom Feeney for TV Yorkshire.